Hi everybody, Adam from Foo Plugins here, and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to create video galleries with the Foo Video extension for Foo Gallery. It's really very easy. So first let me just show you a few galleries that I've made here. Uh, this is a gallery using the responsive image template, and as you can see when I click a video, it opens right up in Foo Box. Go ahead and close that. and. Uh, in this page I've got another responsive image gallery but I've left the thumbnails uh, smaller and I've also used the new effect type for the hover which is colorize and I've got the video overlay button chosen so if I click that again that opens up in Foobox and then we've got this example here which is using the simple portfolio Foo Gallery template which uh, includes uh, a title of whatever is in the caption field and the description and this I've set to uh, I believe 700 pixels wide uh, you could certainly have that the, the smaller so let me go ahead and show you the settings for Foo Video so here you can see I've got Foo Gallery and the Foo Gallery video extension Foo Video installed uh, there are not really any settings for Foo Video Foo Video it's just integrated into Foo Gallery the only setting that you will need to set is under the Foo Gallery under settings under extensions once you install it there'll be a new field here called the Foo Video license key and that's where you validate your license whether you've bought personal multi or the business license once that's validated you'll have access to plugin updates and to access to the support forum so if I go over here to galleries and I go into this gallery I've already created the name for and click edit. You'll see everything looks exactly the same as Foo Gallery. The, uh, the difference is when you click add media, you'll see two new tabs. You'll see YouTube and Vimeo. And adding video is really as easy as searching any keyword on YouTube. So I can select multiple videos if I want. I can skip one, go down here, and then I'll just click Add Media. And what this does is it imports the video from YouTube, the URL, and also the thumbnail and all the metadata uh, associated with those videos. So let me show you an example here. I'm just going to update my gallery, and I'm going to click the information button which takes me to the edit screen if I click over to media library you'll see that image has been imported and it's selected so if I go over here to the metadata I can change the title I can change the caption the alt text the description whatever I want to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and now uh, just like Foo Gallery you choose the gallery template that you want to apply and we built in support for all of the built-in Foo Gallery templates and we do have a lot of video specific templates coming uh, which will look uh, similar to video players so when you have a video in your gallery you'll see a few more settings than you're used to one is um, actually this one the hover effect type is new to Foo Gallery itself uh, so you have your preview here if I choose a different icon you can see it there and we have a couple of options here dark tint so if you hover over it just puts a dark tint on it and then that colorize which I showed you uh, in that other gallery display if you hover over it brings the color back so that's a pretty slick little option there so we'll go down here um, again if you have a video in your gallery you'll see these video specific settings you can choose the video hover icon you can also choose the size that you want the video to open in Foobox if your device size is smaller than the size that you choose here uh, Foobox will take over uh, and incidentally Foo Video works with Foobox free so there's no need to buy Foobox Pro but if you want the features of Foobox Pro like social sharing and the slew is a slew of other things you can certainly uh, work this with Foobox Pro as well and the last video settings here is whether or not to autoplay the video. So I'm just going to choose no on this one. I'm going to update my gallery. And just like any other gallery, image or not, uh, you can choose to create the page that this is used on. And since I've already created a page, I can just view it here. It'll open up in a new window. And there's my video gallery. Opens in Foobox with the play button because I've set autoplay to no. So one of the things you can do here to really tweak your video display is you can change the dimensions of the thumbnail. So if I do 700 by, well, let's say 300, 
and I update that gallery. You can see that my layout is going to change here and it's going to put each video on its own line. Now if you had uh, any other WordPress theme that you were using that had a full width template you could make these videos really big uh, fit them in there so you've got a lot of options and that's basically it. Uh, Again, we've built Foo Video to be integrated with Foo Gallery, so adding video is just as easy as clicking the Add Media button and searching YouTube uh, or Vimeo. I should show you this as well. Uh, Vimeo does not include the real-time search, so we've included a link here to the Vimeo search page. And what you do is search for a video that you like. Let's search uh, Star Wars. And we'll go ahead and let's... Uh, Let's grab this one. Not even sure what this video is. But we'll go ahead and paste the video URL into the Vimeo tab here. And it automatically looks for that video, finds it. We select it. We click Add Media. And again, that pulls in the video thumbnail and all the metadata associated with that video. Okay, and you can see that that Vimeo video is in there. We'll go ahead and click Update. Click over to our Video Page tab. Refresh that. And you'll see that Vimeo video right here. Autoplay is set to off. So we'll go ahead and click Play and we'll be good to go. We'll go ahead and stop that. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is that you can also add playlists. So in short, you can add dozens or hundreds of videos at a time. So what I'm going to do here is flip over to YouTube. I've searched the word playlist. I'm going to go ahead and grab this playlist, the Billboard Top Songs of 2015. And if you hover over the URL here, you can see in the lower left, uh, you can see the playlist URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that link address, go to our gallery, click Add Media, flip over to YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and paste that playlist URL in there and what you'll see is you'll see all the videos listed that are in that playlist and then you'll see the import playlist button the number of videos it has so this has 199 videos so I'm gonna go ahead and click import I'm gonna pause the video and then come back and show you you can see it's importing the playlist I'm gonna pause now it'll take a, just a couple of minutes and I'll be right back it's been about 30 seconds here and you can see that the playlist is almost done importing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that and come right back when it's finished. Okay, and as you can see, all 199 videos have been imported into my gallery. I'm going to go ahead and first thing I'm going to do is change the thumbnail size here so we can get a better sense of that on the page. I'm going to do all the 150 by 150 go ahead and update this gallery and another thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edit this page and make it a full width page with no sidebar I'm gonna view that page and there you go we've got a huge gallery of videos now the cool thing is when they open in FooBox of course, the FooBox uh, controls take over, so you can use the arrow keys with your mouse, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to flip through all the different videos. And here's one more thing I want to show you. That was playlist. The other thing I want to show you is that you can do mixed galleries. So, let's say I wanted to add some images in here in addition to the videos. So I'll go ahead in the media library here. I've already got some images way down here. I'm going to go ahead and select several of these. Click Add Media and it adds them to the gallery. And Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag just drag one of them up here. The same drag and drop features you're used to with Foo Gallery. I'm going to update this gallery. Refresh our page here. And now you'll see that you've got a video and as you flip through now you've got your image. So as you can see, the power of Foo Video is pretty substantial when mixed with Foo Gallery features. 
I hope you like what you see. I hope you're happy with Foo Video. And if you have any suggestions, just let us know on the forums. Thanks.